Chicago is shrinking fast. Entire streets are now empty. And it's no longer just like the outskirts of Chicago having massive store closures, but we're also talking about like the loop area. Chicago's loop is actually very nice. It's where the center of business, but even the Chicago loop area, even the one next to like the water are all selling for pennies on the dollar. Chicago is truly crumpling. It's getting really, really bad. I mean, look at this guys. We're also seeing Chicago spending hundreds of millions of dollars in a migrant crisis. And at the same time, they do not care about the shoplifting. The shoplifting in Chicago is so intensive entire streets on the loop are just closed. There's no more stores. You know, if you look at this, there's also warming stations for migrants. It's these large buses in Chicago. Homeless veterans are not allowed near these buses or tents. It's kind of amazing to see that, hey, our veterans and our domestic homeless population are just sleeping on the streets, whereas migrants get warming stations and buses. This is like Chicago. You know, many people are kind of sick and tired of what Brandon Johnson is doing. Many Chicago citizens are actually speaking out, saying that this sucks. You're spending hundreds of millions of dollars on a micro crisis, but not a single million dollars has ever been spent on a zip code that needs like fresh produce. You know, the talk about opening a city-owned grocery store, that's been going on for half a year, maybe even more than that. And that has not happened at all. And look at this, guys. Walmart decides to close four stores in the Chicago area because crime and shoplifting is out of control. We're also seeing a defund the police situation in Chicago being so intense that many cops are no longer here. Rampant shoplifting, rampant crime. Whole Foods closed, Trader Joe's are closing, Walmarts are closing. This is what we see. And also, the mayor of Chicago announces city-owned grocery stores to replace the ones leaving the city. But it's been going on for months, and it still hasn't happened. Okay, if you look at like the old Soviet Union... You know, they did not mess around with shoplifters. You know, many people and many nations around the world know that if you let shoplifters get their way, you know, let them do whatever they want, which is basically what Chicago, New York City is doing, entire stores and streets and blocks will be destroyed. That's exactly what's happening in Chicago. And also look at this. So there's so much crime and shoplifting that many people are no longer buying Chicago real estates. There's a brand new Chicago multifamily foreclosure. 59 units, $32 million loan, a little over half a million dollars per unit, all closed. This building was supposed to be selling pretty well and renting pretty well. Location's kind of okay, and that's just supposed to be a good place for young tech guys, young finance guys. But I guess they're not coming here anymore. Chicago is closing at a speed that has been never seen before. Mayor Brandon Johnson is also kind of scared because the population just keeps dropping. Despite America's population is one of the fastest growing in the entire world, Chicago, New York City are seeing the biggest population drops. Why? Terrible policies. It's as simple as that. You know, a lot of people want to move to Chicago. Skyline's pretty, downtown's really nice and clean, but not anymore. It's filled with crime. Whole entire blocks on the loop are closed. You got food deserts everywhere. Is this really a place for people to go to? Probably not. And this really just shows you how bad Chicago is doing. Chicago office tower is selling at a massive discount, and it's showing that people are not spending big bucks on Chicago real estate anymore. Look at this building. Look at how big this building is. 12 stores. It takes up like the corner of this whole entire block. Sells for just $4 million. This is a building that used to sell for 30 to 40, even $50 million. And in some cities, this is a building that could sell for 50 million plus. But in Chicago, this building will sell for just four measly million dollars. That's kind of scary. A building like this selling for $4 million Basically, just says bankrupt. This is the biggest 08 type situation for Chicago I've ever seen. So if this building sells for $4 million, what about this building right here? What about this building right here? What about this building back there? Are all these buildings just going to sell for just a few million bucks, despite being massive skyscrapers in downtown Chicago? And then look at this. Taxes, crime, and many more are threatening Chicago's future as a financial hub. The last financial company that's truly left in Chicago is the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. Guggenheim, the biggest hedge fund, and Citadel, one of the biggest corporations in finance, have all left for Miami, Florida. Chicago Mercantile Exchange is thinking about the same thing and even got an offer from Texas. If they take it, Chicago is doomed. They won't have a single big financial company left. What's gonna happen to Chicago, we don't really know. But right now, it's looking really bad for the Windy City.